Everyone, let me just um, turn off the music and then turn up the volume so I can hear you all. Oh my gosh, hello. Be with us too. Hello, baby. <laughs> um, wow, I love our studios. Those look beautiful. We could all be in the same place. Um, hey, Katie. <laughs> Good to see you. Hey, Shannon. Hey. Awesome. So I just got done doing, I think, Shannon, you did that with me, didn't you? That 20 minute core cardio. Whew, just yeah. stopped sweating from that. If you see me sitting in um, house pose, you'll know why. What's that? If you see me sitting in child's pose, you'll know why. <laughs> I can't do that, unfortunately. <laughs> I'm going to keep going. Um, but yeah, I'll totally understand why. Um, awesome. Well, um, it's good to see all of you. Thanks for being here. And um, my cousin is on the line with us, which is so exciting. Donna. Yay. Um, so we are going to move through a pretty energizing flow tonight. It is technically all level, so I will make sure to just throw out, you know, all the options if you want to take it a little easier, if you want to take it a little more, you know, a little further, just depending on how you're feeling. And how's everybody feeling? Like, if, if 10 were to be, like, the biggest amount of energy, and one were to be, so she's, okay, Chelsea's a six, so if one were the lowest and 10 were the highest, throw, throw out some numbers at me. We've got a seven, seven, six, seven. Okay, cool. So everyone's around the same place. Awesome. Very good. Cool. All right. So we'll go ahead and just start in a nice, comfortable seat and just take a moment to kind of settle yourself in. You might need a few moments to sort of like un unattach, right? Detach from all the external things and all of the uh, happenings of the day. But just do your very, very best as you close your eyes to just drop into your physical body. And then I also want you to just start to do your very, very best to, to scan your physical body and just start to notice what you're feeling today, just energetically, emotionally, maybe even just physically. And it might feel fairly neutral, or you might start to become aware of, of some kind of a dominant sensation sitting somewhere specifically. And usually that would show up along the chakras, so through the center line of the body. Beautiful. And just as you're starting to scan your body and, and you're starting to deepen your breath and you're starting to drop in a little further inward, just notice if there's an intention, like if there's something specific you would like to create on your mat tonight. And then I'm going to actually read a quote that has inspired this week's just really this week, you know, the teachings of this week, the flows, the sequences, and it's by Deepak Chopra. And the quote goes like this, the past is gone, the future is not here, and now I am free of both. Right now, I choose joy. And I just feel like that's so powerful if you think about the freedom that lies between, right? What was and what may or may not happen and so I just want to invite you to dance with me in that space tonight. That, that, as Wayne Dyer would call it, getting into the gap. And so we'll start with some very simple breathing together just to help stabilize your nervous system. Okay, so I'll count to four as we breathe in nice and slow, and then we're going to pause at the top. I'll count to four as we breathe out nice and slow and we'll pause at the bottom. We're just gonna keep doing that probably about four times. All right, so just listen for my cues because as we go, I may kind of redirect the pace a little bit. So let's take a deep breath in through the nose and a big sighing breath out through the mouth. And then one more time, just breathing in through the nose. 
Nice long breath out. And then when you're ready, breathing in, counting to one, two, three, four, and pause. Breathing out, one, two, three, four, and pause. Inhale, one, two, three, four, pause. Exhale, one, two, three, four, pause. Inhale, one, two, three, four, pause. Sip in a little bit more breath. Hold it. Exhale, one, two, three, four, and pause. Hold it. Breathing in, one, two, three, four, hold your breath, sip in more, sip in more, hold it. And as you exhale, nice and slow, release, relax your body, soften all your muscles, hold your breath at the bottom of your exhale. And then just come back to a natural, easy rhythm of breath. Beautiful. All right, so we'll bring a soft gaze uh, into the room. So I'm gonna go ahead and scooch back so that you can see me. And I'm just gonna say this, the other day I was teaching and I sort of dropped off for a moment. <laughs> Shannon will remember. Um, so if that happens, don't worry, I'll be back, okay? Probably won't happen, but just in case, uh, just wanna let you know I will be back. All right, so let's come into your butterfly position. Feet together, knees out wide. And we'll go ahead and just catch a hold of your ankles, okay? And just flap your wings a couple times. Yeah, start to pull that belly button back, start to reach up through the crown of your head. And then just start to send those invisible roots down into the earth. Beautiful. All right, so just relax those knees down into the floor. We'll bring the hands onto your knees and just start to stir the pot. So just notice what direction you're going in. And we'll switch it here in a minute. Just swirling around. Some, of, some, some things about this feels easy, right? Some feels awkward. It's kind of like the human experience. So just stay with it. And then just coming right back up into your seat. Woo! Grab a hold of your ankles as you inhale. Roll your shoulders back, lift your heart, and find that little back bend. So look up, exhale, round your back. So push your heart back. Inhale, same, same, lift the heart, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, rounding out your spine. Two more, inhale, roll the shoulders back, lift your heart. Exhale, rounding out your back. Last one, inhale, roll the shoulders back, lift your heart. Exhale, rounding it out. Whew. Okay, so let's inhale, come to sit nice and tall. Take your right hand behind your right hip and then take your left hand over to your right knee. Inhale, sit super duper tall and then exhale, spin your gaze and find your twist. Very good, inhale, come back through the center and then just take it over to the other side. Sitting nice and tall, breathe in. Exhale, twist, twist, twist. Inhale, come back to center. And then exhale, just release your hands to come back in front. Okay, knees down onto the, or sorry, hands down onto the knees. And then just start to stir the pot, okay? So you're gonna go the opposite way. If you forget what that is, that's okay. And just notice, right, there's an element to this. It's sort of hard to stay grounded, okay, but we're going to stay with it anyway. 
and just use our curiosity. How do I stay really grounded in this awkward movement? And then we'll come back to center. Oof. Sitting up nice and tall, deep breath in. And then as you exhale, begin to walk your hands forward. Let's move towards a fold here. So some of you might just be here on the hands. That might be your edge or maybe on the elbows. And if you can start to drop your head down and relax your head down, yeah, even better. Deep breaths. And we'll inhale, start to walk your hands back. So lifting up through your head, lifting up through your heart. Okay, very good. So extend your right foot forward and pull your left foot into your inner thigh. So again, we'll take the right hand behind your hip. We're gonna push through your knee, lift up through, oh, I'm sorry, you guys, other way. So <laughs> other, other hand behind your other hip. Okay, pushing through your knee, lifting up the hips, opening up your heart. And then just slowly start to make your way back down. Very good. So your left foot is inside your right inner thigh. We're gonna to walk towards a little forward fold. So see if you can actually catch the outside of your foot. And you wanna kind of pull back on the foot a little bit, pull the elbows towards you as you reach your heart towards me. Yeah, or at least towards the front of your mat. Mm -hmm. Janu Shir Shasana. Very good. Inhale, lift them all the way back up to your seat. And then we'll exhale. Just go ahead and switch your feet. So left foot is straight, right leg, right leg is bent. And we'll go ahead and take your right hand behind your hip, right? Pushing through your knee, lifting up through your hips, finding that baby rock star. And then slowly make your way back to the ground. Ooh, very good. All right, resituate those legs. See if you can reach forward. Maybe you can catch that foot. And if that's not available, that's totally cool, but it looks like you've all got it okay. All right, pulling back on the foot, tailbone back, heart moves forward. Ooh, and then you might start to fold a little bit more here. Three, two, and one. Inhale, come back to your seat. And then as you exhale, just shift back and bring your feet to the floor. So this is called cosmic egg. You'll give yourself a big hug and then let the eye sockets move down towards your knees. Beautiful. Inhale as you look up, look forward, and then catch a hold of your knees and just start to rock and roll. Okay, so I'm gonna come back to my mat this is what it looks like. So just a couple little rocks. And then you'll cross your ankles. You'll roll forward and step back into your plank pose. Okay, so find your plank, stay there. Press your heels back, lift your thighs. I'm just checking everyone's form, mm-hmm. Beautiful, those look fantastic. Let's take a deep breath in. As you exhale, lower all the way down to your belly. Begin to untuck your toes and you're gonna to start to find that baby cobra. All right, so root down through your belly button. Roll the shoulders back, lift your heart. Exhale, lower down. Two more, try that again. Rooting down with the legs. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, roll the shoulders back, lift the heart. Exhale, lower down. Slide your feet together, press your bum back, and come into child's pose. So relax your head down. And maybe even just wag your hips a little bit, left and right. And we'll make our way up to downward facing dog. Good. So I'm going to take a moment here to just walk over. Let's make sure our feet are about hip distance apart. Mm -hmm, those look great. Relax your head. Stay buoyant through your feet. Those look perfect. 
Gorgeous. And we're here for three. Two. And one. Inhale as you look to the top of your mat and start to walk your feet to the top of your mat. You're going to lift halfway as you arrive. Exhale, forward fold. Root to rise. Inhale, push to your feet. Sweep your arms up. Exhale, hands come down by your side. So just take a moment here. Take a breath. Moving through our first vinyasa. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, look forward. Exhale, step to plank, lower down, chaturanga, or you might just come to your belly again. Inhale, upward dog or baby cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Nice deep breath in and out. Beautiful. As you inhale, look again forward, step, walk, or jump your feet to the top of your mat, lifting halfway. Exhale, fold down your legs. Let's root to rise. Inhale, push to your feet, sweep your arms up. Exhale, take your hands behind your back, okay? Interlace your fingers, roll your shoulders back, breathing in. Exhale, fold down the legs. Let your head completely relax. If your hamstrings are tight, bend your knees. We're here for three, two, and one. Release your hands down. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step your left foot back. Okay, so we're gonna bring this knee all the way down to the ground. Sweep your arms up overhead. So we're in our high lunge position. Yeah, hips are nice and square, arms are up overhead. And then we'll take a nice deep breath in as you reach for the sky. Exhale, pull the elbows down. Yeah, and then see if you can speed it up. Inhale. So it's inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Two more. Good, inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, release your hands down. Whew. Very good, so let's tuck your back toes and get that back knee off the floor. Root your left hand down and sweep your right hand up. Now if it feels okay in your neck, you can spin your gaze up, 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 One more inhale. Exhale, take this top hand down. Very good. So listen up, you're gonna to start to walk your hands to the left. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what it looks like this way. Inhale, walk your hands all the way around to the left. Spin your right toes in, spin your left toes out and start to bend your left knee. So it's like you're gonna come into a little side lunge. Okay, so you could be here. See how I'm not quite all the way down? Or you could actually come all the way down. Yeah, so it can be as deep or as high as you need it to be. We're here for three. Mostly just breathing into your inner thighs. Two. Beautiful, and one. Let your hands come back to the floor. Inhale, lift your hips. And then exhale, walk yourself back to the front of your mat. Bend your front knee and step to your downward facing dog. And then just shake out your head, make some noise, and whew, find your breath. As you inhale, lift your right leg to the sky. And as you exhale, bend that right, that right knee and start to open your hip. And we're gonna actually look under your right arm and start to peel your right rib cage open. Inhale, straighten your right leg, square your hip, and come into your plank pose. Woo, okay, so let's find that plank and just hold it here. Yes, we're here for five. 
four, three, two, let your knees come down, send your butt back and come into child's pose. Relax the head down. Nice deep breath in and out. And when you're ready, come back to downward dog. Very nice. With steady breath. When you're ready, inhale, look forward, step, walk, or jump your feet to the top of your mat. Lifting halfway. Exhale, pull down your legs. Root to rise. Inhale, come all the way up. Sweep your arms up. Exhale, take your hands behind your back. Yeah? Here we go. Roll your shoulders back. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, fold down your legs. Relax your head. Slow down your breath. Gorgeous. All right, release your hands down. Inhale, lift your head, look forward. Exhale, step your right foot back. Bring your knee down. And we're going to sweep those arms up. So we're in that nice low lunge. Starting to stimulate those legs. We inhale, reach up. Exhale, pull down. So it's nostril breathing. Five. Four, two, and one. Inhale, reach up. Woo. And as you exhale, release the hands. You can actually just take a, take a little moment here. Yeah, tuck your back toes, lift the back knee. So just kind of slow it down, root that right hand, sweep your left hand up. Remember, it's your body, right? So just look for the space, make that connection with your own body. One more inhale, and then exhale, release your left hand down, okay? So here's where we're gonna actually start to walk around to the right. Flip your left toes in, flip your right toes out, and bend your right knee, okay? So we're here in this funky little lunge. And then I like to take it down a little further into skandhasana, just an option. Breathing into those inner thighs, we're here for three. Woo, I really feel this after that core workout. Holy moly. <laughs> Two. And one. Inhale, start to lift your hips. Up, up, up. And then as you exhale, walk back around to the front of your mat. And bend your front knee. Yeah? So here we are. Step back, downward facing dog. Yes, you did it. It, it's hard on camera to kind of turn you guys around, but I want you to start getting used to it. Okay, let's inhale, lift your left leg. And then as you exhale, bend the knee, start to open your hip a little bit. And then look under that left armpit and let your kind of like that whole rib cage start to open. Inhale, straighten your leg. Square off your hip and come back into your plank pose. Here we are. We're going to add on a little bit, okay? Pull those knees to your chest. Four, three, two, one. Find your plank pose. Lower your knees down. Sit your butt back and come back to child's pose. Deep breaths in and out. And when you feel rested, make your way back to downward dog. Now, no rush, just when you're ready. So we'll kind of like just work with that sequence. We're going to progress and add on. As you inhale, look forward, step, walk, or jump your feet to the top of your mat. Lifting halfway, exhale, fold. And then root to rise. Inhale, push to your feet, sweep your arms up. 
Exhale, release your arms down. Take a moment, close your eyes. Notice what you feel. And we're gonna shift and kind of uh, add on. Okay, so feet together, hands are down, chair pose. Inhale, bend your knees, scoop your arms up, Utkatasana chair squat. Beautiful. One more inhale. Exhale, fold down your legs. Inhale, look up halfway, and then step your left foot back. Woo, okay, so here we are. Keep your back knee up this time. Sweep your arms up. So we're in this high lunge. So a little bit more work than that low lunge, right? Hey, Denise made it. Hey, Denise. <laughs> we're here for three, two. Now, taking a nice deep breath in here, draw your palms together and start to rotate over that front leg and hook your left elbow. Yeah, find that twist. Push down into the leg, lift your gaze up. Woo, challenging your balance. We're here for three, two, and one. Slowly bring your hands back to the ground and we'll walk our hands to the left. Inhale, walk around, spin your right toes in and stay here. Okay, so we're right here. Big wide-legged stance. Inhale, look, look up, look forward. Exhale, fold. Now as you fold, walk your hands through the legs and flip your palms up. Relax your spine. Lift your tailbone, lift your kneecaps. Inhale, start to walk your hands back through the legs. Lift your head and heart, look up. Exhale, take your hands to your hips. Cool. Inhale, push to your feet. Exhale, step to the top of your mat. So here we are. Woo. Good, now close your eyes for a moment. I sometimes get dizzy after that posture, so just notice if you got a little dizzy. Take a moment, kind of let that integrate. And we'll start again. Feet together, hands down, bend knees, inhale, chair pose. And then hold it here. Woo, beautiful. One more inhale, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, look up halfway. Step your right foot back and come up to that high lunge, root to rise. Press to your feet, sweep your arms up, hold it here. Hips are square, legs are strong. There it is, beautiful. You're evenly distributing the weight. We'll inhale, pull the palms together. Exhale, start to rotate across the front thigh and hook the elbow. Woo, so notice your back foot. Keep your heel pointing straight back. Reach your heart forward, spiral your gaze up. Gorgeous. Slowly inhale, look forward and release your hands to the ground. Woo. And then we'll inhale, start to walk around to the right. Yeah, start to flip your left toes in and just pause here. So we're actually going to take our hands, peace finger bind, on the insides of our big toes. Okay? Inhale, look up. Exhale, pull up on the toes as you fold. So if you notice, like when I come down, my head touches. So if that starts to happen, you've got to take your feet in closer together. Yeah, there you go. We're here for three. Two. 
One, inhale, look up, look forward. Exhale, hands to your hips. Push to your feet, inhale, come all the way up. And then you're gonna exhale, step to the top of your mat. So just boop, step it forward. Close your eyes, pause. Nice, nice work. So let's go ahead and rinse that out. Moving through a vinyasa, full chaturangas, if those are available. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. And either step, walk, or jump back, lower down through your vinyasa chaturangas, or modified chaturangas. And we'll make our way back to down dog. Come back to your breath. Okay, changing things up a little here. Warrior one, right foot steps forward. Inhale, step forward. Root and rise. Root those feet and rise up. Yes. Thanks, nice, Katie. So I'm just going to take a moment to kind of make sure everyone's, so make sure, uh, Katie, your back heel is down. So spin that heel in. There you go. Yep. All four corners of the feet rooted into the floor. Arches are lifting. Those look beautiful. Here for three, two. As you exhale, take your hands behind you, interlace your fingers. Yeah, yogi mudra. Roll your shoulders back. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, fold down midline, right down the center. Humble warrior. Relax your head. Inhale, push down through your feet, lead with your heart. So heart rises up, warrior one, reach up. Exhale, warrior two. Open your hips. Here we are, Virabhadrasana B. Gorgeous. Let's take a reverse warrior, inhale, reverse back. Exhale, windmill your hands to the ground. Okay, so listen up. We're going to pick this back heel up. Okay, so root your left hand down. My back is going to face you for a moment. But start to uh, spin your feet so you come onto all um, like the nice edges of the feet and reach your right arm up. So I'll show you from the side. Looks like this. Cool. Yes. So you're going to really feel that in your outer hip. And then if you want, you can stack your right foot on top of your left and come into side plank. Woo, we're here for three, two, and then you slowly find your way back to your plank pose. Lower your knees down. And we're actually gonna take your knees as wide as your mat and come into a nice wide kneed child's pose. You feel really nice to let your heart come down onto the floor. And if that doesn't work, forehead onto the floor. So the past is gone, the future isn't here, and now we're free of both. Now I choose joy. Beautiful. Okay, let's make our way back to downward dog. And I wanna throw out the option, if you wanna rinse that out, you can come into your plank pose from your downward dog, right? So you can inhale, shift forward, and exhale, move through your vinyasa. So just an option, not a requirement. Here we are back in down dog. Warrior one, left side. Inhale, step your left foot, root the feet, rise up. Virabhadrasana A, left foot in front. There it is. Those look fantastic. So just take a few breaths to, to evenly distribute the weight. And then we'll take a deep breath in. Exhale, sweep your hands behind you, interlace your fingers. 
Roll your shoulders back. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, fold down the midline. Right down the center, relax your head. Humble warrior. So you want to hug your left knee in. Ooh. Inhale, push down to your feet. Lead with your heart as you come back up, warrior one. Exhale, open up, warrior two. So open those hips up, open those arms up. I'm going to turn around. I can see you. So let's take it back, yeah? Inhale, reverse the warrior, just big flow back. Left arm reaches up and over. Exhale, windmill your hands to the ground. Ooh. So we'll pick this back heel up, root your right hand down and start to pin it on your feet. So you're coming to the knife edges, left hand reaches up. And then maybe you stack your left foot on top of your right for side plank. We're here for three, two, exhale, come back to plank, lower your knees down, and then just sit back on your heels, turn your palms up and close your eyes. And I want you to imagine that the universe is dropping something delightful into your hands. Just imagine the feeling of that. Maybe you start to get a vision. But the universe is dropping something delightful into your hands. Beautiful. So as you inhale, just kind of scooping that up with your hands, you're just going to bring it right into your body. So maybe into your chest, maybe into your stomach, doesn't really matter. Just pull it right into your body. Just feel yourself receive it. And then when you're feeling complete there, we'll come into downward dog. We'll keep moving. We'll take a breath here as you arrive. Deep breath in, long breath out. Okay, so as we inhale, look towards the top of your mat and step walk or jump forward. Half lift, exhale, fold. Root to rise, inhale, come all the way up, sweep your arms up. Exhale, hands down. And then we're gonna step your feet as wide as your mat, okay? So step your feet as wide as your mat and then flip your heels in and we're gonna make our way into our squat. So you're gonna either come halfway down, but if you have access, come all the way down. So this is so good for your digestion. And we don't just digest food, you know, we digest energy, we digest information. So it's all here in this gut area. So take a moment as you close your eyes to just help your body, right, digest all of that information, energy, Food, emotions. One more breath here. Perfect. Ooh, I can feel that dropping in. All right, so hands come back to the floor. We're going to step back into your plank pose. And we're going to rinse it out together. So let's take a deep breath in. Exhale, move through a vinyasa or a cat cow. So you can always modify, right, with those little cat cows if your arms get tired. And we'll come right into your pigeon pose. But first, let's inhale, lift your right leg to the sky. Bend your knee, start to open your head. And like we did before, look under your right arm and just kind of let your right leg tip tip, tip, and maybe tip you all the way into that wild thing, okay, that reverse down dog. And then slowly make your way back nice and easy. Woo. And we're coming right into pigeon pose. 
pose. So as gracefully as possible, even if it's awkward. <laughs> so right foot's in front. So I always like to take a moment here before we try to fold, okay? Try to sit tall and align your hips. And if you need help, you can always stuff a pillow, yeah, under that right butt or, or a book, okay? Inhale, lift your chest, and then we'll come down towards the fold. Onto the elbows, perhaps, onto the forehead, perhaps. And then bringing all of your presence into your hips, especially that right side and kind of through that right ovary area, right kidney area. And then just slowly come back up to your hands. So we're gonna do a very simple exit, okay? I'm gonna spin around just so you can see me. Okay, very, very simple exit. Tuck your back toe, okay? The hips start to lift and we're just gonna step it right back, okay? To downward facing dog. Let's all just get there. We're there together. And then we'll take a vinyasa together, okay? So as you inhale, come to your plank pose. Take your vinyasa or your modified vinyasa. And come on back, down dog. Oof, okay. Same thing, left side. So we inhale, lift your left leg. And you'll start to bend that knee and open up that hip. And then maybe peek under that left arm and then let the leg tip, tip, and then maybe flip right into that rock star. We'll slowly make our way back. Inhale, three-legged dog. And then find your pigeon when you're ready. Sweep it through. And just squaring off those hips. Ooh, sitting nice and tall. Breathing in. And then we'll start to fold. Onto the hands, onto the elbows, onto the head. And then start to tune in to that left hip, left ovary area, left kidney area. Okay, so nice and easy. Let's start to come back up to your hands. Whew. We'll tuck your back toe, hips start to lift, step it back, downward dog. Now you can skip this last vinyasa if you want. You can come to child's pose instead, or we inhale, plank pose, and exhale, vinyasa. Downward dog. Whew. All right. So take a breath here, just flutter the lips, kick the head out, roll it up, and we'll come on to our butts. So we're gonna take a little seat, step, walk, or jump. Have a seat, <laughs> plop down, and then we'll just lie down on your back, okay? So let's lie it back. So take a moment, just relax back, bend your knees and set your feet up so that they're hip distance apart. And I'm just gonna kind of speak into this a little bit. So I personally feel that back bends are like the master integration pose. They help tie everything in together. They really settle your nervous system. So even though when you first get up, it can kind of trigger a lot of discomfort, I'm gonna just encourage you to really stay with it. All right, so you want that full wheel, bring your hands to your ears. 
Okay. Um, if you're coming into like a baby bridge, make sure your knees are bent. So Donna, bend your knees. There you go. Feet are hip distance. Um, Chelsea, take your feet in a little, a little more close together, like hip. There you go. Yep. All right. When you're ready, inhale, press it up. Yes. Good, Katie. And then feel that little bit of that hugging sensation in your inner thighs. Now, Donna, you can walk your hands under you, interlace your fingers. Everybody else, get your shoulders onto your back. We're here for five. Stay with it. Those look great. Deep breaths. Four. Good. Three. We're so close. Two. And one. Nice and slow. Bring it to the floor. Ooh. Let your back just get nice and flat. You might take your feet together. Let your knees kind of spill open. Nice big resting butterfly. Let's close your eyes and take your right hand to your belly and your left hand to your heart. So we'll take a moment just as we're resting, okay? So tune into your body and we'll ask the questions. Body, what would you have me know? What would you have me do? Where would you have me go? What would you have me say and to whom? And then we'll tune into the universal intelligence, the God energy, yeah, source energy. And just asking those same questions, spirit, God, divine, universe, what would you have me know? What would you have me do? Where would you have me go? What would you have me say? And to whom? I'm just saying thank you, thank you. And so from here, you can just start to draw your knees together and then open your arms nice and wide. Yeah, lift those knees up over your hips. Woo! And then let your knees drop over to the left side of your mat. So find a little twist here. Mm -hmm. Knees are stacked. Melt your right shoulder blade into the floor. So I know for me, my, my right shoulder blade lifts up, but if I speak to my body and ask my shoulder blade to kind of melt down, it actually responds to that. And then you'll inhale, bring your knees back up over your hips. And then slowly dropping those knees over to the other side of your mat. Melt that left shoulder blade down. Look toward your opposite hand. And as you inhale, bring those knees back up. And give yourself a real big hug here. So squeeze the knees, hug the knees. And we'll rock and roll back to your seat. And come back into your little butterfly. So feet are together. So I'm gonna have you do this two different ways, okay? So let me show you from this side. So you'll pull the knees, or the, sorry, the heels in as far as you can. Get your butt out of the way. Sitting up nice and tall. And then with a flat back, starting to extend the heart forward. Now imagine that your thighs are actually rotating back, okay? That's what's happening here. It's an external rotation in the hip. You can kind of push your feet together a little bit, reach your tailbone back. And then as you inhale, come all the way back up to your seat. And now you're gonna pretend like you're folding over a beach ball. You're gonna round your back out and move your forehead towards your big toes.
Inhale, come all the way back to your seat. And then open your legs nice and wide. So we're right here. So Upa Vishta, it's our big wide-legged split. Okay, so keep the toes pointing upward, yeah, for stability and anchor down through your legs. I'm going to keep trying to mirror you guys. I'm gonna master this skill at some point, but it does very much confuse me. Okay, so we'll take your, <laughs> your right hand inside your right leg, sweep that left arm up, and then start to move over into this little side bend. Now, if you're finding that this posture is hard for you to sit up, you can actually take your hand behind the leg, yeah? And if you want more, we start to bring that elbow down. And if you want more, you can actually catch the inside of this foot, take your top hand and catch the outside of your foot. And then you kind of spiral under the arm. So all of those are options. We're here for five, four, and then slowly start to come back up to your seat. Woo. Woo, good job. All right, shake it out. And we'll do that on the other side. So we'll take that left hand down inside the left leg, sweep that right arm up, big breath in, and then start to take it over. So you can stay here on the hand or start to lower down to the elbow. Woo. Or you might even take this inside hand to the inside of the foot and the top hand to the outside of the foot. Nice, Charles. We're here for five, four, those look beautiful, three, two, and one. As you inhale, come all the way back up to your seat. Whew, very good. So I actually want to bring you into just a little bit of a short meditation, and then I'm going to lie you back in Shavasana, okay? So before we lie down, just come into a nice, comfortable seat. And if that doesn't feel comfortable, if you have a pillow or something nearby, you kind of stuff it underneath your butt. And just close your eyes down. Okay, so I'm going to encourage you to actually flip your palms upward here. And we're just going to do a very brief uh, cord cutting meditation. So if there's anything that you feel is sort of draining your energy right now, maybe there's a thought that you've been having or there's a person that's kind of nagging at you or a worry or something like that, a fear, uh, it's just notice it's kind of draining you, right? And we're gonna just go around and, and notice where you feel like something is kind of hooking into you and, and draining your energy. Just trust your intuition. You do know how to do this, yeah? And you'll take those big, this big pair of like invisible scissors and just start to snip those cords. Or some of my clients really like to imagine like these big swords and they just start to kind of slice and just cut those cords. Good. So we're actually going to do that again, but before we do it again, we're going to call in support. So just as best you can, see if you can shoot your attention up like really, really far, like 300 feet, 500 feet, maybe further, until you can start like just sensing the presence of light, starting to sense that presence of light above you, way, way up. And once you start to sense it, just invite it down. Invite it right down to your body. You can start to feel it move down through the crown of your head, maybe like a rain shower of light or a beam of light. And feeling it move down through your head and just starting to penetrate every cell, every muscle, every joint, every organ. Moving down, down, all the way down, your whole body. Starting to move out through your fingertips. Swirling through your belly. Moving out through your tailbone. Swirling down through your legs. 
moving out through your feet and your little toes. And just see it go all the way down to the center of the earth. Just rooting you down right there at the center of the heart of the earth. And then just starting to feel that sensation of being connected. Connected to light above you, connected to light below you. And then again, just tune in and see if there's anywhere that you need to sort of cut the cord. Yeah, between you and something. And just imagine that you're going around the body, snip, 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 slice, slice, slice. You can watch them just float away like balloons. And then I always like to imagine that the angels, or maybe there's one particular archangel that you want to work with, just kind of going around your body and kind of pulling that energy out, right? Just pulling it out, pulling it out, pulling it out, pulling it out. Just really helping cleanse your system and clear your body so that you can feel 100% back to you. So feel free to just stay seated for the whole rest of the time or feel free to lie down and just kind of allow that process to continue. And we'll move into our deep rest. <clears throat> and I'm gonna play you guys a, a closing song and I'll call you back soon.
So just take some time to find your breath and start to move your fingers a little bit, <clears throat> move your toes. You might even just start to reach those arms up and over your head and just find that big full body stretch. When you're ready, you can hug your knees into your chest. And then you'll start to just flop over onto the right side of your body. And just starting to slowly, when you're ready, make your way back up to a seat. And we'll come to close together. So we'll take those palms together at the heart. And just closing our eyes down as we just take a moment to feel that gratitude in our hearts. For this practice, it always brings us back home, right? Every time, back to the truth. And so we'll close it out with a sound of om and we'll take an inhale to prepare and we'll om together on the exhale. Let's take a deep breath in. Oh. We'll bow our heads forward, I'm just blessing this day, pronouncing it good, saying thank you and namaste.